Hey, I'm Josh. Today, we're going to head inside Kohl's. I'm going to show you the kind of things you could buy at Kohl's to resell on Amazon to make money. That's what retail arbitrage is. I'm going to show you what to look for. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you even go to the store is you want to download the Kohl's app, which is this, and because we're looking for sales. And the only reason I'm at Kohl's today is because of this. Save up to 85%, take an extra 50% off. So when we go inside the store, anything that has that yellow clearance sticker, it'll be an extra 50% off of that. They run this sale periodically, and the best way to find out is to have the app set an alarm for Monday morning because that's when the sale would start for, say, 8 o'clock in the morning. Open up the app, and if you see this 85% off thing, that means you need to hustle down to the store and start buying stuff up because that's a really good sale. Uh, normally, it'd only be... It'll say like 70, I think 70% off is what it normally is. Yeah, but when you see this, that's when you want to hustle down. You also want the app because it has a scanner at the top where you can scan anything in the store and it will tell you the actual price because sometimes things in the store, they don't put the sticker on, the, they put the wrong sticker on, they didn't put any sticker on. This will tell you the actual price of it. And also it will keep track of all your Kohl's cash and stuff like that. So download the Kohl's app, check it out for this sale. All right, we're heading inside Kohl's. It is a beautiful day, and hopefully we will find some beautiful profits straight through the main doors. And to my left, what do I see? It's the clearance sign. They like to put these paper signs over the clearance sign to let you know that it is, in fact, take an additional 50% off. They are all over the store. They are plastered all over the store. You can't miss them. And we're going to grab a cart. And they have these nice metal carts at this Kohl's. A lot of the Kohl's have terrible, terrible carts, those small, boxy ones that break my ankles. I hate those. So my first stop is gonna be in the Mrs. Junior section just because it's right by the door by the entrance. And I'm looking at this pants rack. There's a few brands that I can find over here to resell on Amazon, but for the most part, I'm looking for a brand called Wallflower. They make jeans. There's two pairs right there. They're a little bit too expensive. They sell pretty quickly. They have good sales ranks and they sell for decent money. Okay, I found a pair right here. These are marked down to $12, so these would be $6 at the register. So we're gonna give these a scan. I'm almost certain that these are gonna be a pickup, but I will show you. Okay, we gave them a scan with the Amazon seller app. These are currently selling for $34.99. They have a great sales rank and they have over 2,000 reviews. I like everything I'm seeing. It doesn't really matter who's on this listing. I know that these are gonna be a win. It's about a $20 bill right there. It goes into the cart and we just keep moving on to the next thing. A lot of these brands aren't gonna be on Amazon, like that So brand, that's proprietary just to Kohl's. Here's another pair of Wallflower jeans. They're priced at $28.80, that's too high. We're not gonna make any money on those. This brand's called Union Bay, it can do well. I've sold a bunch of their stuff on Amazon before. So we are gonna give this a scan to take a look at it. Okay, that definitely didn't bring up the right thing. That's a pair of Dickies men's pants. The scanner on the Amazon app is just not very good. It often brings up the wrong thing or just can't read the UPC. Okay, so we found this pair. I don't like what I'm seeing here. It has no sales rank. It's priced at $23, so we're just gonna keep moving. And we're looking for, here's another pair of Wallflower jeans. We're gonna give these a scan. These are marked down to $16.80. So they would be like eight or nine bucks. Okay, and these are selling for around 30 bucks. Really good sales rank, so we're gonna grab these. If we can get these for under 10 bucks, I know that these are gonna sell for around 30 bucks all day long. Here's another pair of Wallflower jeans. Let's see what these are priced at. If I can get the tag to where I can read it. Okay, yeah, so these are $16.80, so they'd be like eight or nine bucks at the register. We'll give it a scan with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, so there's no one on this listing right now. It has tons of reviews and has an awesome sales rank. So I want to give this a scan with Keepa just to see what these would typically sell for. I know these typically sell for around 30 bucks. Okay, so the Keepa app froze. I'm having a really rough technology day. I got it to unfreeze there. We'll give it a scan. And let's see, we're looking back an entire year. So it looks like the price never went below $30 in the past year or 12 months. And Amazon currently isn't on the listing. So we should be able to sell these for 40 bucks or 30, worst case scenario, and make about 10 bucks on these. Here's another pair. Price is $16.80. We'll give these a scan, even though we don't. I don't really need to. I'm just kind of showing you guys that these sell for around 30 bucks all day long. If we can get them for under 10, it's a win. They're selling for $29.99, almost exactly 30 bucks. So we're gonna grab those as well. And you can click there to calculate the profit. I'll show you what it would be on these. We'll scroll down the bottom and we're gonna punch in our buy cost. 
I will put in, we'll put in eight bucks, even though it's actually gonna be slightly more than eight. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to ballpark these numbers. Okay, so the profit's gonna be 10 bucks. It's gonna be about nine bucks on these if we sell it for 30 bucks. So we're grabbing all of these that we can find for under 10 bucks. Here's another pair of those. Union Bay, we're gonna skip. They do sell Levi's. We cannot sell Levi's on Amazon. It is restricted, unfortunately. Here's another pair for $16.80 can give these a scan, I guess. I would venture a, a guess that these are selling for around $30. It's thinking, thinking. Yep, they're selling for almost exactly 30 bucks. Great sales rank, tons of reviews. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pairs for about an $80 profit, give or take. And now I'm over in the men's section. They've got a pretty good deal going with these collared button-up Under Armour shirts. They have a bunch of these for sale. The plaid ones probably aren't gonna do as well as these plain ones, especially that palm print one. So these plain ones, let's give this plain one a scan. So they're marked down to 29, 25, so they'd be roughly 15 bucks at the register. We gave it a scan with the Amazon seller app. It's currently selling for $45. It has quite a few reviews, a decent sales rank at 30,000-ish. We're gonna give this a scan with Keepa to see what the price has been over the last year or so. Okay, let's double check. Yep, that's the right one. Okay, so let's look at the chart. We're gonna look back an entire year and it looks like the price is kind of just straddling that $40 mark right around there. It dips a little bit below it. So we should sell this, be able to sell this for around like high 30s, maybe 40 bucks. And if we're getting it for, what was it, 15 bucks? That's a decent margin on those. So I'm definitely gonna pick up a few of these, those two at least, and probably that green one as well. And next I'm over in the clearance shoe section. I'm looking at the kid stuff right now. There is decent profit over here. I found these, what are these Grand Court 2.0s? These basic streetwear kid shoes sell really well. They're marked down to 25.80, so they'd be roughly half at it. So they'd be like 13 bucks at the register. Skip one of these a scan. Okay, so these are selling for $46 right now. The sales rank is awesome on these. They have over 2,000 reviews. That's not an issue. I've sold these many, many times. Uh, they sell in that like $35 to $50 range. So if we can get them cheap enough for around 15 bucks or less, it's almost guaranteed profit. Let's look at them on Keepa. Okay, that's kind of a weird chart, but you can see it's selling for exactly what I said between like 35 and 50. Let's look at the buy box average for the 180 days. Okay, so it looks like the average for the last 180 days is $37.19. So there's plenty of margin on there. I mean, it's not a great ROI, but this is guaranteed money. And you always wanna double check these white shoes, especially at the store, because one person puts their little greasy hands on them and they're gonna get smudged and we don't wanna sell damaged stuff. But these look like they're in pretty good shape, so we're gonna pick up, I think they had three pairs of those. So the next thing that caught my eye were these men's reef sandals hanging up and they're marked down to $25. Some of these were marked at $20. Some of them were marked at $25, depending on the color or the style. Uh, so they'd be either 10 bucks or $12 and 50 cents at the register. So let's give a couple of these a scan. I'm almost sure these are winners because I've sold probably these exact same sandals before. Gave it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Sure enough, these are selling for like $45 right now. It is summertime, so this would probably be like the peak price of these. Let's give another pair of scan. Yep, and those are selling for over $40 as well. So if we can get these between 10 and 12 bucks, that's a good pickup. So we, we do wanna scan these with Keepa just so I can show you what these would typically sell for. Okay, so we gave that pair of scan and it looks like the price never really goes below about $35. And even then it's pretty brief and it stays above $40 for most of the time. So basically all of those are pickups. Now I'm over in the men's clearance shoe section and they've got a lot of shoes over here. Things look very promising. They've got these Adidas cap tier shoes. Let's give them a scan. And they're going for $77 on Amazon right now and they'd be $24 at the register. That's a win. Let's give this pair a scan. Those are going for $67. They have a really great sales rank. Tons of reviews. Those would be, I think, close to 30 bucks. That would be profitable. It wouldn't be a huge profit. You're looking at maybe a $15, $10, $15, but still profitable. So these shoes, they're all going to sell for around $65 to $75. So if we can get them for like 20, 25 
even 30 bucks isn't bad for these. These are all wins. $64 for those. $66. And those would be half of 58. Not the best margin, but still doable. Let's see. These are selling for 68. And the sales rank isn't amazing on these, but it's still at $21. That's still a pickup for those. Those are definitely going to sell for profit. So like almost this whole wall of shoes is profitable. We've got a pair of Nikes down there. Let's give these a scan. Okay, so those are going for 78 or 79. And they'd be half a 70, 35. Nah, we're going to pass on those. I don't think that's a really good price on those. The Sonoma shoes aren't going to be on Amazon. Those are proprietary to Kohl's. This is a decent brand. It's called Kohl Han. It doesn't really look like much, but I've sold some bangers in the past for these. Okay, so these are going selling on Amazon for 53 bucks, And they want half of 45 So, like... I'm not going to pick those up, but that's definitely, you can make money on those for sure. Those will sell. Here's another pair of those Captier shoes selling for, they're all going to sell for around that same price. They might tank down a little bit because people like me and I'm telling you to go buy these. So everyone's going to go buy these. So they might go down to like 50 bucks for a while, but the price will go back up to that $65 price range and you can make about 20 bucks on those. What the heck are these? Okay. I don't like what I'm seeing. The sales rank's really high. I thought those were LeBron James shoes. What the heck are those? The scanner has a hard time scanning it when the UPC is vertical like that. Okay, yeah, we're going to pass on that because I don't like what I'm seeing with that. Let's move down here. Columbia can be very good as well if we can get it cheap enough. These are Columbia boots. Okay, so those are selling for 55. Wah, wah, wah. That's not very good. Half of 78. Nah, there's not enough margin there. If we could have got those cheaper, those would have been fine. Okay, so here's some more of those LeBron shoes. I think these are LeBron James shoes. Okay, of course, it doesn't like... I got to tilt it a little bit and get it. Can we get it? No, we can't. We can't get it. I really don't like the Amazon scanner. It's really bugging me. Okay, so let's scan it with Keepa. Because this, watch this. It'll scan right away. Boom. Okay, I do not like what I'm seeing here. The price has already tanked down to around $70. So that means when you see something like that, that means people are just trying to unload this. It's kind of a wacky color. I'm not, I'm not going to pick up any of these. And you want to check down the regular aisles as well because they like to hide clearance stuff in these regular aisles, just like this right here. We found these Adidas shoes, these streetwear canvas shoes that had a clearance sticker on them. So let's give them a scan with the Amazon Seller app. And it looks like these are going for $64.99. Great sales rank. 16,000 reviews. You can't go wrong with that. And they want half of $45.50. So those are going to be like $23. That's definitely a win. All three of those are going to be wins. And next, we're over in the women's clearance section for shoes. Let's see what we see. Okay, so Clark's can be a decent brand. I've sold these definitely in the past. So let's give these Clark sandals a scan. Okay, so these are selling for $49 on Amazon. Sales rank is okay. Doesn't have a lot of reviews, but they want half of, was that 54? Not enough margin on those. Let's scan the ones below them. So these are going for 49 on Amazon right now. Decent sales rank and a lot of reviews. They want half of 57. Again, not enough margin. Let's give these Madden girl shoes a scan. Okay, so we've got some sandals. Decent sales rank. A lot of reviews. These are going for $25.99. These would only be 10 bucks at the register. Not enough margin for me. Let's give another pair a scan, but that was close. Okay, so that's the same shoe in a different color. It's in the beige color, 10 bucks, and these are going for $31.99. So that is definitely going to be profitable, about a $10 profit. Easy Spirit can be profitable on Amazon. Let's give these a scan. Okay, didn't pull it up. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so those are going for $45. Sales rank looks good. Um, it's just not enough margin there. Well, actually, that's pretty good. 22 into 45. Not the worst, but they make like a $10, $10 profit on those. We'll pass, though. Skechers. Okay, so this is a winner. These are selling for $47.99, and these are going to be 11 bucks at the register. So that's a definite win. Those are about a $20, $25 profit. So we're going to pull those out and grab them later. And I'm looking at this pair of Adidas women's shoes. 
the Bravada. They have a really good sales rank, 2,000. And these would be half of 48, so they'd be like 24. Let's give these a scan with the Keepa app to see what these are typically selling for. Okay, so it looks like they don't really ever go below about 50 bucks. And a lot of the times, these are riding up around close to 70 bucks like they are right now. So my best guess is you could sell those for 70, so that's a win. See some Nike down there. Some Madden. The, a lot of the profits are not in the Nike stuff. It's in like the weird brands like Madden Girl. Let's scan these. Okay, so the black ones, those are selling for $25.98. Just not enough margin there. Let's give these other ones a scan. Okay, so yeah, so the beige color ones are selling for $31.08. Those are profitable. So we might pick those up as well. Here's some Nike shoes that are be $44, so they'd be $22. Let's give these a scan. Of course it didn't come up. Let's try it again. Didn't come up third time's a charm. So I'm telling you, if you just flip these sideways, it's hard to film and do this with the other hand. So, okay, so those aren't even on Amazon, which kind of sucks. I thought those were going to be possibly winner. There's some kind of pink shoe in there. Doesn't matter. It's not on Amazon. We're going to pass on it. See what we got down here. Some more Madden Girl stuff. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing. Some Columbia boots. Here's another pair of those Skechers sandals. These are selling for 32 bucks. Good sales rank. And these are only going to be like 11 bucks at the register. So we're going to grab those as well. We got some more Adidas here. 62 bucks. What were these selling for? Uh, 30 bucks, eh, that's a pass. But those are profitable. You will make money if you get those. Okay, so we're back on that one side. And we turned the corner and we found some more. Let's check these Clarks out. I swear Clarks are profitable. Those are going for 40. Nope, those aren't good. Some Skechers sandals. Wow, these are selling for 80 bucks right now on Amazon. Good sales rank and they want, these are gonna be 15 bucks at the register. That's an easy win right there. Let's give these a scan. These Nike women's gymnastic shoes. Sales rank isn't that good. They're going for 75 bucks on Amazon right now. That'd be half of like, was that 58, 30 into 78? That's not the worst. So we're back in the men's section. I'm kind of just bouncing back and forth all over the place right now. And I found this Columbia jacket. It's marked at 60 bucks. So it'd be half of that at $30. So we're gonna give this a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so currently this is selling on Amazon for 100 bucks. That's 25,000 reviews, that's insane. So we know that that is definitely gonna sell. I feel like this doesn't normally sell for 100 bucks. Uh, typically, these jackets don't sell for that much. So we're gonna give it a scan with the Keepa app to see what this typically sells for. Right now we're looking back two years. Okay, so let's look back one year. Okay, so you can see Amazon is on this a lot, and the price is usually around like $75, and it tends to dip below for brief periods down to like 60, maybe 55 bucks, and it's gonna tank right here. Nobody's on it, but I'm gonna start picking these up. So this is gonna be a win. We can sell this for $75 or 60 bucks, worst case scenario, but likely higher than that. And I found these Speedo men's shorts, shirts marked down to $11.85, so they'd be basically six bucks at the register which is so dirt cheap we gave them a scan with the amazon seller app. these are selling for 30 bucks on amazon right now we've got 84 reviews the sales rank is okay at 172,000. let's give these a scan with keepa to see what these typically sell for at six bucks we almost can't go too wrong with these so the price has never gone below really 30 dollars for these let's look back two years Okay, so Amazon's almost always on the listing. We can definitely sell these for around 30 bucks. Uh, no problem. So basically, all of these are a pickup. Every single one of those is at least a $10 profit. All those jackets are pickups at 30 bucks. And we're back in the shoe section again. We're in the kids' shoe section, just bouncing around the store. Okay, so these are marked down to 10 bucks, these reef sandals. The men's were profitable. So I'm imagining that the kids will be profitable as well. So they'd be five bucks at the register. Gave them a scan with the Amazon seller app. 
and they're $25 on Amazon and great sales rank. So those are definitely going to be profitable. And looks like they've got at least three pairs there. So we're going to pick up all those and we're going to double check these other reef sandals. And you want to double check these Nike ones. I found these marked down before. These don't seem to be marked down. Sometimes they'll mark Crocs down, but it's pretty rare. And I'm back in the men's shoe section. I walked by these the first time I went by them. They were kind of on an end cap and I didn't see them, but I was intentionally looking for these. These Nike SB canvas shoes, they're marked down to $45.50, so they'd be half that. So they'd be roughly $23 at the register. These sell really well on Amazon. This pair is selling for $75 right now. That's a big win. And that's probably the same exact shoe and the same size. Let's give another one of these a scan so I can show you what these sell for. These plain kind of streetwear shoes do better than the fancy ones on Amazon. Those are going for 89 bucks right now. Let's give another one a scan, a different size. We really can't go wrong with these at $23. It's taking its time. Yeah, so these are selling for $89 as well. Uh, so all of these are pickups and they have a, like a decent sales rank. So we're gonna grab one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Now I'm looking at the toys. I'm actually gonna skip the toy section because I'm not saying you can't find profit over here, but typically I won't find as much, so it isn't worth my time. The clothing and shoes is where it's at. And the same for the bras, like basically, okay, there's me in the mirror acting like a weirdo. What am I doing? Thumbs up, yay, okay, so <laughs> I'm out of my mind. So what I find with the bras lately is that they're not really marking these down very much. Like almost all of these, the lowest price they're gonna set these at is around 20, like over 20 bucks. A lot of these are gonna be like 24, 26, 28 bucks. And even at half that, at around $12, none of these are profitable. Or like basically zero of these are gonna be profitable. They used to mark these down to like 15 and 10. I found, if you watch some of the older videos, that I did at Kohl's, I found bras that were marked down to $4 and then they were half off of that. They just don't do that much anymore. I think they're liquidating them uh, before they get that low is my guess. Cause I'm just bare, I like, I never see them hardly ever at that $4, $5 price. I'm not really sure. I found one that was marked down to 15. So this would be seven. I can almost guarantee even at seven bucks, this isn't going to be profitable, but let's give it a scan anyway. Having a really hard time <laughs> doing this today. Okay, so yeah, see, it's 19 bucks on Amazon. Like, it's ridiculous. It's the same, like, they're more expensive clearance out here than they are. You can get it delivered to your door. So, uh, I mean, you can still check the bras very quickly to see, but like, I can almost guarantee most of these are just gonna be priced above 20 bucks. And there's just not enough margin here like there used to be. And I know you can still use like Kohl's Cash and use a 40% off discount that they give you to like stack these discounts to make this stuff profitable. But the way I do this nowadays, these aren't really good pickups for me. Okay, so now I'm over in the men's clearance section and this is what I was looking for. These Lee men's jeans that are marked down to 1749, so they'd be half that. So they'd be eight, nine bucks at the register. And let's give these a scan with the Keepa app so we can see what these typically sell for. Okay, so these are, let's look back one year. So they're bouncing around between like 30 and $35. Sometimes they go a little bit below, sometimes they go a little bit higher than that. It depends on the size, the color and the style. So here's another pair for $17.49. So let's give this one a scan because the different sizes and different colors will have different stuff going on with them. Okay, so yeah, so a lot of times these are above 30 bucks. So if we can get it for like eight bucks, that's a win. It, it's dipped down right now. I don't care. I'm still going to get it. I'm going to grab any of these men's Lee jeans that are down below 10 bucks. Looks like there's another pair. Yep, $17.49. And there's another pair. Okay, so we're going to grab all of those. I'm not going to grab those. There's another one. So they've got a bunch of these. Let's give this one a scan and see what happens. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, so you can see how the price is. This one, it stays, it's almost above $40 most of the time. 
So the different sizes will make a difference, but like, I don't care. I'm just gonna pick these up because I know that they will be profitable. There's another pair. Okay, you get the idea. So men's underwear can also be a good section as well. Especially these Calvin Klein ones. These are marked down to $16.62, so they'd be about eight bucks at the register. Those had a ding on the side of the box. They were a little bit damaged. So you're looking for these plain white ones or the plain black three pack right there. So these are typically gonna sell for around 30 bucks. So if we can get them below uh, 10 bucks for eight or nine dollars, these are gonna be wins. I don't even need to look these up. I've sold so many of these before. And I'm digging in the back because sometimes they get pushed. Yep, there's another stack right there. And there's another one behind that one. So all of these are gonna be winners. And we've got almost an entire cartload full of just men's jeans. So we've got about 20 pairs of men's jeans and some underwear I just showed you. That's probably like the fourth cartload I've taken up to the register. And now I'm just filming myself in the shoe section. I've never been kicked out of a Kohl's, but there's always a first for everything. I'm just gonna blast right by the kitchen stuff because I don't really feel like messing with it. One of the things that kills this whole experience is trying to get through the register and they have to take off like a hundred security tags and it takes about an hour each time. All right, I just left Kohl's. The entire car is basically full of stuff that I bought. I made several trips. I've spent thousands of dollars at Kohl's this week. So if you're watching this video right now, the day that this comes out on YouTube, this sale is still going on. It's going on all week. So after you're done watching this video, you can go to Kohl's and buy the exact same stuff that I just bought. It will be profitable. I've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars of stuff from Kohl's on Amazon. These are the types of things I look for. Everything I showed you was stuff that I saw at different stores in multi quantities that I know will sell. The price may tank down a bit, but it will come back up to that like median price that it likes to be at, you know, 30 bucks for jeans, 30 to 40 bucks for men's jeans. So get out there and get this stuff. If you like this kind of video, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I'm Josh, that's what I did today, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I'm back home from Kohl's, and here is another Kohl's bolo that I found this week for those of you guys who watched all the way to the end of this video, which hardly anyone does. But I found these Timberland boots at different stores. I didn't find them at the store I just filmed at, but I found a bunch of these at surrounding stores in the area. So they're marked down to $85, so they'd be half that, which is a great price for these when you consider that the MSRP is like 170 bucks. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so we can see that these are selling for $145 and they have a really good sales rank, tons of reviews. So we're, I mean, you're almost looking at like an $80 profit on these beige color ones. And they did have these other uh, dark color ones. I probably picked up about 15 or 20 of these in total. These never go below $100 and you can get them at Kohl's for half of $85 right now.